Hello again, Michael Friedberg here from beautiful North Carolina. And today I have two products to review from Norway from the Fityar company, kindly gifted to me by a person on Reddit. So once again, Commander Kim, thank you very, very much. Now, let me just show you the wrapper. This is the wrapper for the refill on the soap, the Fityar soap, which I think is pronounced Slottere. I think it's Slottere. I'm doing my best. It is a famous lighthouse on the far west side of the Fitjar Islands on the west coast of Norway, a very rugged, isolated area. I really like this paper insert, by the way. They've got some really cool instructions on here. It's a nice way to do the packaging for the refills with no plastic included. It does have a precaution. Tempting as it may be to massage the luscious lather all over your face, keep it away from the eye area. Very good. Eating it will not make you a more dashing explorer. So let's reserve it for external use only. Very wise words. Um, and I just like the fact that the packaging is all paper there. Just a nice move to get away from some more plastic wrap. I'm also going to be using their aftershave balm. The scent on the soap, which I will show you in the Captain's Joyce Choice Hard Puck of Soap Holding Bowl to prepare for face lathering. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a round puck. It is slightly tapered, so it's actually wider at the bottom than it is at the top there. Um, the scent on the soap uh, is kind of a, is a slightly woodsy, uh, spicy citrus scent. And really quite a nice mix. And it's not strongly scented, but there is a definitely a distinct scent uh, and quite nice. Um, today's brush is going to be a Steve Bento custom brush. This is the Curly Maple, which just has this fantastic kind of grain in there. I hope you can see all that moves when you move the wood with a 30 millimeter Virginia Shang silver tip knot, I believe is what that was. A giant knot. I mean, take a look at the size of that thing. If you're a head latherer, which I'm not, but what can you do? My face latherer, this size knot probably is a fantastic choice. Uh, the razor for today is going to be the Gillette Ball and Tech. Top cap is here. Gold on the inside, all of that has been worn away on the top cap, sadly, but well, no matter. Uh, today's blade is going to be a Bolzano Super Relux. I have been going through a variety of blades this week. I started off with one of these, which is the Treat Platinum. Two good shaves out of that, and then the third one was really not very good at all. And then I switched to what I think must be the remaining uh, Chinese Gillette Wilkinson sword blades. Again, one shave per day. Those blades just don't work for me. So I've kind of worked through the last ones that I had. I'm done with those. I'm going to screw the handle on. I'm using the uh, the washer. This is a perfect place for that because you have to tighten it up a little bit, but you want to avoid damaging the insert of the top part of the handle into the uh, into the full stem there. So that gives you a chance to tighten it, but not over tighten it. Okay, let's get the brush. Let's get the brush wet through. We'll start lathering the soap. I think this is a very simple soap recipe in a lot of ways. It's the vegan soap, um, marked as such on the packaging. Um, coconut oil based, I believe. Now, again, it's a hard soap. I just want to point out again, let me just shake out some of the water there. I'm going to start with a relatively dry brush. Uh, I had zero issues lathering the soap from the moment I put it in the bowl. No blooming required, no soaking required, none of that. You just need to use a brush and a little bit of water while you're building your lather. You may find that those first few times you use the soap that it seems a little reluctant. Just add a drop of water to it as you're loading your brush and it all will be well. You just don't need to bloom them. It's come loose in the bottom. That's happened a couple times. I've pressed it down hard, but I don't want to press it down too hard because in fact, it doesn't really matter. If I tip it too far holding it up like I was before, it's obviously going to come careening out of the lathering, loading, puck holding bowl. All right, I'm loading pretty heavy. As you can see, there's a bit of a nice paste starting to form. I'm going to add just a touch of water. Yeah, I am sorry to say, and for those of you that like to bloom your soaps, I'm on a crusade to end this blooming nonsense. I realize there'll be some pushback. There might be some internet controversy. I don't care. All right, I'm going to scoop out some of the lather from the bowl. So you can take a look at that. That's just going to go straight onto the brush. I'm going to wet my face again. Make sure that it's wet face and wet brush. 
and just drip a little bit onto the brush. There we go. So you can see shiny already. It is a giant knot. And like many of these brushes, or these particular knots, can be a little greedy about the lather. Scent picks up in strength when you start to lather it. Just drift a bit of water on there. Still sounds a little airy and too sticky and pasty, so we're going to be adding more water to that, a little more. That's starting to loosen up already. There we go, almost there. That's still a little too heavy. So more water on that side, a little more water on this side. Yeah, I like to get it to the point where the brush is really moving very smoothly, very smoothly over the lather. Oh, that almost went in my mouth. There we go. Almost there. It's really worth taking your time on that first lather, by the way. I know that if you're trying to rush through in the morning, this probably doesn't seem like the wisest move, but the fact is you're going to have the most impact on that first pass. Really worth it to work the lather into your face. There we go. That sounds nice and wet and heavy. All right. And there is a ton of lather in that knot, as you'll see for the third pass. I'll probably go through and like squeeze out the remainder. There's a lot in there. Okay, first pass, brand new Bolzano blade in the Gillette, Gillette Ball End Tech. I uh, always have enjoyed this razor. Very mild, very easy to use. Handle is a little bit thin, but not a problem. That blade feels exactly as I remember them. A little, um, I don't want to say crude. A little, I don't know, not, uh, doesn't feel very sharp. Obviously it is sharp, I mean. I mean, I know it sounds kind of silly, but I hate wasting blades, so even if I just use it one time, at least I've used the blade. These blades remind me a great deal of the Mercure branded razor blades. Nice slickness on the soap though, you know, that's... 
making the shave a lot easier than it would be with that blade in there. All right, let's rinse and pass number two. Uh, when you rinse, it feels like it's rinsing pretty clean, but there is some residual slickness there. And if there's some soap left, like there is down here, it's actually a little bit harder to rinse off than you might expect. All right, pass number two. Yeah, I was very happy to receive this, to try this out because I think I've used one of the ones called, I think it's called Folgafun, 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 something like that, which I think is the name of a glacier, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's the one. But I've never tried the full-size puck, and it does make a difference when you're shaving out of a little sample. And you're trying to make it last, you're just never really loading enough soap. Yeah, and this has a very nice, very nice kind of soft, creamy face feel to it. I mean, yeah, that 30 millimeter silver tip isn't hurting either, but soap does feel really good going on. Okay, second pass, this is going to be across the grain. Certainly better than with that first pass because I'm not trying to hack my way through two days of growth. Yeah, I would have to say I had two days of what I would have to consider uh, unpleasant shaves simply because of the blade, those Gillette Wilkinson sword blades. Yeah, see there, that just feels smooth, kind of friction-free, very nice. Yeah, that blade did not really like having to go through that initial growth. I am working on a end of 2019 summary video like I did last year. I don't know if it'll be the exact same format, but probably something very similar. Talk about some highlights, best soaps and razors I've used, stuff like that. Probably skip the channel update only because those numbers are kind of, you know, they're kind of fun to watch for me, but they really don't mean anything to anybody else, honestly, and they shouldn't. There we go. Much better pass than that first pass. Much more comfortable. All right, let's rinse. Pass number three, and let's just see how much is still in this brush. All I'm doing is just pulling off what's from the base of the brush there. I'm just gonna move that to the uh, to the face of the brush. We'll lather and then I will squeeze out the remainder. Yeah, very nice feel to the soap, gotta say. I'm going to squeeze out a bit of the lather and I'm going to add a bit more water to it and just help increase its slickness a little bit. And I'm not squeezing it all out, but you can see how much is still inside that knot. It's a little crazy. Very nice texture to that lather. Now what I'm going to do is just add a bit of water to the brush. And just rehydrate that a little bit. And you can see again how much is still back in that brush are being picked up. So let's try to use it all. Hmm. 
I rinsed my hand, and there was still quite some on my hand as well, and it's just very hard to get it all out there. Okay, pass number three, against the grain. Yeah, it was mostly in this part of the pass with those other Wilkinson sword blades, the Gillette Wilkinson sword blades. where the uh, blade just really uncomfortable. Okay, second half, well, second top half, I should say. just for the mix of hair here. Yeah, so I basically do this kind of stroke from ear to mouth and then do like a pickup, which, because a lot of the hair grows this way, but there's also sort of a mix. And that's also just a comfort thing. It just feels good to do it that way. Now for the chin, one thing that I do is I often come sort of at a mixed angle here and then try to finish off with a straight from down to up because the hair growth actually for me is not straight down here. So if you're having trouble with your chin, that's one option. The other is if you're doing the, the piece where you're trying to make a smooth transition, I basically hold my mouth up to try to tighten up that skin because, like for a lot of us, that chin skin is a little loose. And it feels like it's going to catch as you're moving the razor, but just very light pressure and just kind of let the natural angle of your face help guide the razor. If you feel a lot of sort of hesitation or roughness or tugging, change up the angle a little bit. And you could always do kind of a fourth cleanup pass. You know, there's no rule that says three and out. Make a single pass under, the, under your chin, stop. Rinse, relather. There we go. All right, done with that portion of it. All right, let's rinse. So as I said, soap both feels like it rinses cleanly, but if you have more than a little on your face, like I down here at the bottom of my neck, it does take a little bit of work to get it off. I'm going to towel off in just a moment. There we go. Post shave for me is is good but not great. I have found it a little bit drying more so than some of the recent soaps I've used but my skin is also pretty dry right now anyway so I really don't expect the soap to be moisturizing when it is or it doesn't feel immediately tight, that's kind of a big plus, but I don't expect it from the soap. It is soap after all, and by its nature gonna be a little bit drying, but overall, that's pretty good. No post shave though, if I just let it sit, five or 10 minutes, and I'll have some real tightness in my skin. Kind of that kind of unpleasantly, just too tight. So, I'm not gonna use an alcohol-based aftershave, I'm going to use Solotare. I kind of hope I'm saying that right. Solotare. My instinct is to say Sletteroi. But I don't think that's right. I think it's Solotare. 
We'll see. Somebody, I'm sure, will post an outraged comment about how I destroyed the Norwegian language. All right, this is their aftershave moisturizer. This sample came with the soap refill, and I was really glad to receive this because I have used this balm before. This is one of these very nice, thick balms. I put in, I think, six, maybe seven pumps total because only a little bit comes out of that sample size. What I've done to use it is I've just mixed it in my hands to warm it up a little bit. And then apply and I've been I think using a little too much I don't think you need this much but I really like how it feels going on it's got a nice kind of dense thickness to it very soothing very calming skin feels better immediately And as you can see, even though that looked like quite a bit, that went on easily and quickly. Yeah, very, very nice. Same scent. For the scent on the, uh, for the skin cream, to me, the woodsy element is stronger than the citrus. All right, I'm gonna rinse my hands. And we're gonna call it right there. Very easy Sunday shave. All right. Let me dry off my hands and we'll do a very quick recap of all the products we used and we'll be done. So just bear with me for a moment. All right, let's start with this. Slotare. This is the shaving soap refill from Fityar. Very nice, simple stuff. Vegan recipe. Scent is a strong kind of woodsy, slightly exotic scent with a strong top note of citrus. Very nice soap. Easy to use, easy to lather very good slickness at least for me the post shave is a little too drying but again that is partly the weather and also easily remedied so shaving part very good no issues with that at all follow that up with the now properly recapped post shave balm of the same name and scent very nice stuff as you saw look like a little bit too much not a problem absorbs easily and quickly and i really quite enjoyed using that this week razor is the Gillette Ball and Tech with the Bolzano blade. Not a big fan of those blades, um, but perfectly fine for a single shave. As always, quite a mild, easy shave. Not very efficient, but very, very easy on the face and a very enjoyable shave overall. Assisted by my dear friend from Steve Benz with this fantastic curly maple brush with this giant 30 millimeter silver tip not in there. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. All right, my friends. I think that's it. We are done. Hmm. Caught myself right out there a little bit, looks like. Never felt it. We'll see how that ends. Anyway, thank you all so much again for watching. I really appreciate the time you're taking to watch these videos. I hope you're still enjoying the reviews. I hope you look forward to the end of year review as well. As always, please feel free to leave questions or comments against this video or any previous video. And until next time, goodbye.